Small disclaimer before you start the video. If I sound a bit, um, weird, a bit different, that's because I have braces. So if you're not a fan of brace noises, I recommend you might skip this video and possibly all my videos for the next few months. Renting a house in the beach is a dream. A great view, no noise, no neighbors for miles, and no way out. After all, who would want to leave their comfy beach house? Right? Right? Is the very spooky description of this game's itch page. This game was a game jam entry developed by Smarto Club. Now, I came across this game probably a month ago. But that would make sense, right? Like, it only just came out on Steam. Well, it's been on Itch for a while. But way before that, I actually stumbled across one of the artists, the low polygon 3D modelers, on Instagram. So that's what put me on the radar for their rental game that they made back in 2022. Now, this is a horror game. I've probably put a bunch of warnings at the beginning. Although, I'm going in with no idea what this is about. I actually haven't watched anyone else play this, and I've only seen the snippets that are on the itch page as the screenshots. So let's get spooked to get together. Me without any warning, and you with 30 second blank screen with text on it full of warnings. So let's play. Oh, it's your little bunny. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, we're, sh we're straight into it, okay. Um, there is no menu. Other than was, what is my controls? Hold on, let me check. Okay, apparently it's was and spacebar, so no mouse. Oh, oh, okay. A van. Oh, they're like little little Animal Crossing bunnies, even with the little voice blips. A good old Suzuki carry. Nice. Is this parent? This is mom. The door's open. Could the rental man already be here? Oh, I'm guessing so. My bro, my little bro. Do you want to play with me? No. Oh, <laughs> damn, Ubi, okay. Is this dad? What do you think, Ubi? It's not too shabby. Ah, yes, a classic cabin in the woods by the beach. <laughs> I love the um, Resident Evil <laughs> PS camera angle. It's a bit alarming, though, that I cannot run. I shouldn't stray too far. Okay. Well, let's head into the rental, I guess. Where is anything at? Nope. Blocked by the invisible walls of powers beyond my comprehension. Can I stare in the window? <laughs> oh, going straight in. Who closed the door? Hey, open up! But I'm the one inside? It won't open? Oh, oh! So we've walked in, we got walked in. I should find that dental... rental? Rental man. And now we're trapped forever. Okay. Oh, oh. Stuck in the corner? Oh. Oh, what? Excuse me, what was that? <laughs> what was that at the end of the hallway? Ew. Oh, oh, oh. Just phase through. Okay. Well, we haven't much to say about anything, apparently. Hello, rental man. Oh, the door's just open. It looks like 
She's just phasing through everything. Anybody taking snacks in the kitchen? No. Okay. <laughs> Break my neck and look at the clock on the wall. The painting. Oh, I actually love these green tiles. Love the green toilet lid. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus, yes, actually. Jesus. Hi, God. Oh, Rental Man? You in here watching TV? Rental Man. You! Did you come from the outside? I've been trapped here for weeks, months. I don't even know anymore. Um, I need to get the keys. My parents are... Forget about your parents. You'll never see them again anyway. Oh, are we stuck forever in the cabin? Unless... Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exorcise this cursed place. Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. No one! No one apparently can do it themselves. There's always the mission man, the quest bro, that goes, Here's the solution! Not that I tried it, because why would I? I guess it's to forward the plot, but like... Realistically? Dude, try it yourself. You've been here... for months? Like, you got nothing else to do. Goodness. I'm just some helpless rental man. Oh. I'm just a sad man. Help me. But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? It's always left up to the child protagonist to solve every cursed situation, eh? I... You just need to find the artifacts. It's some... Let me see. Six crosses! A bunch of Jesuses. A woman behind bars. Some angry man. No, not me. Three candles. And then... What? Wait, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. You're not gonna address the fact that you just... popped out of existence? Like quite, like a, like a quite literal pop? I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck! <laughs> huh? Okay. Why do I hear a door? I'm scared. There's nothing in the drawer. Oh, there's nothing in the drawer. Is that me looking at stuff? Or is there something outside? I, I I love watching horror games, but I get a bit chicken when I play when I play them. <laughs> Wonder if 90 DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. Take that as a view. Ooh, what was that? Oh. I wish I could sleep on a bed this big. There's something in the drawer. Found the key! I don't want to run from anything in this game. I might lose my Cocoa Pops if I do. Her, her head is snapping. Come here, Jesus. Heh, <laughs> this one was easy. It's a big cross. Like, was she storing this? I can use this to reach high places. Oh, okay. Anything in the toilet? I'd rather not. <laughs> Bathtub? Not the time for a hot bath. Sink. Gotta wash my hands. Oh, well, hygiene, stay clean. Everyone remember to wash your hands. And get this cupboard. Use the wooden stool to reach the cupboard. Huh? There's nothing here. There, here. To her. Okay. This bathroom is clear. Some random woman with a baby. Oh, that would be Jeebus, my sweet rabbit child. Ugh, this texture looks so meaty. I was gonna say flesh couch before, but I don't know if that was very appropriate. <laughs> Flush chair, flush couch. 
The table is floating? Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, oh, this is the table. I thought because of the angle, this was like the back of a the light, you know? No problem here. The hell you mean no problem? Everything's a problem. She she is very calm about her given situation. I mean, what else could you do? But like, oh yeah, sure. I'm stuck here forever now. What's in here? Oh, found two candles. Okay, so it's three candles, right? Guess I have to find the stuff. Back down the hallway. Let's get snacks from the kitchen. No problem here. Okay. Anything in the fridge? Is there anything to eat? Guess not. So, that guy mustn't have been in here for that long because... If I'm basing this off my vague rabbit knowledge, like, wouldn't a rabbit need food, like, every day? What's, what's, what's the longest a rabbit can go without, like, a decent meal? That'd be something I should Google later. Put that answer on screen. Bam! That's how long he might have survived. Or maybe that's how long he was here. Maybe a day. Four chairs, huh? My little brother should eat outside. <laughs> Damn, okay. Use the wooden stool to reach the cupboard. Ah, the kitchen cross. Yes. I keep all my crucifixes. Is that like... Oh, this, it's like the sound of me looking at these cupboards. I keep thinking there's like something in the hallway and it's gonna come running at me. <laughs> the windows look kind of low budget. Well, this is a free game. But <laughs> Okay, kitchen is clear. What is on the wall here? There's a man, but he doesn't look angry. There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. There's some ugly kid, too. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus, but... Ugly. Oh, we're in the bathroom. Oh, I hate camera angles that don't show you the whole room when you walk in. Oh, cute necklace. Is that a rosary? I don't think I can use this. I have some religious knowledge. I know who Jeebus and Mary and Joseph is, so use the key. Oh! Clothes. Clothes. Ah! Oh, a cross thingy. Okay. What about the bed? Can we go nine eyes? It's not the time to take a nap. Some of the hitboxes or like the areas to look at stuff is a bit wonky, but I mean, what can you do? Ah, oh, this is this room, okay. So this is a new room. It's not the time to take a nap. See, like, why am I looking at a window and getting that option? Oh, Jesus. Now this guy looks angry enough. Found angry man. Why is you so angry, Jesus? Just some clothes my dad would wear. Some boring middle-aged man pants. Yes, yeah, down the hallway where that freaky thing was. A woman behind bars. Weird taste in decoration. Well, there's the woman behind bars. Nothing chase me down this hallway, please. I might soil my britches. There is nothing down this hallway. Okay. So... I wish there was some kind of indication as to what I have left. Oh, there's no stuff between the cushions. 
found a candle. Well, I have a feeling <laughs> that that singular note meant we have everything, so. Where would. Uh oh! I was about to say, where would one do an exorcism? I guess in the door that randomly appeared at the end of the hallway. Anything down here to scare me or eat me? Again, Ubi? I'm guessing that's how you say her name. Very chill for a kid. By herself, teleported into a liminal space. <laughs> yeah, talk about liminal, jeez. Oh. Oh, everything has changed now. Oh, I can see myself. Great, now I can see everything running up behind me to mug me. I don't like the change in camera. You have to... It's not like how we... Obviously, it's not like how we were just playing. You have to rotate left and right to look around. That's gross. Oh. It's... It's very quiet. Jesus. Only two left. Oh. My mistake. This must be the cross maze room that everyone has in their airbnbs. Ugh, I feel like something's gonna pop out. I hope not, I might just scream. Although me talking probably hasn't built up the atmosphere for this, but... Oh well. Is this a cross? Only one left! The texture on that is... Tweaking out. <laughs> so wait, what? Whoa. What was this way then? Oh god. I hate mazes. Or corn mazes. Never been in a corn maze, but I can't imagine that I'd do too well. Can you tell I'm trying to cut the eerie tension? <laughs> not being <laughs> not being scared. Oh my goodness. I will probably speed this up since I'm a bit of a goof. I feel like I'm going in circles. <laughs> I mean, is it better if it's quiet or better if there's some scary spooky chase music playing? Because like Oh, I made it back to the start. Okay, god damn it. Ugh. Let me try this again. The only mazes I'll gladly accept are like the kind of mazes you get in class as a printout sheet because you've done all your work. <laughs> or like on a placemat at a restaurant. Or on the back of a cereal box. That is the only mazes I'm willing to accept. I hope there's no time limit <laughs> on all of this. Oh, yes! My goodness, found the last cross. If you've made it this far, I've probably edited together all my maze ramblings as I've walked around for like 10 minutes. <laughs> the last one! Now do I... just head back, or... is this the part where I get chased? <laughs> Don't tell me it just loops around in like a perfect circle or something. Oh! <laughs> no. No, that- because that- no. No, that opened up because that is not what that looked like before. Oh my goodness. Okay, I appreciate that at least. That they just looped it back. The door is open. Why would the two crosses in- Excuse me? Oh, oh. I was about to say, why were those crosses in like the two most liminal places ever, but... Now we're in the rock dimension with the Gregorian choir chanting. And a lot of wind chimes. What the heck is that? Looks like I can perform the ritual here. 
What, what, what just pooped out there? I should place all the stuff I have in a circle. Oh, oh, what is that? Why is there like a... Oh, it's a shadow! I thought it was a dark, shadowy figure. No, it's the... Oh my goodness, it's the shadow from that rock there. Wow. Scaring myself out here. Goodness gracious. Why is this... <laughs> Why are the shadows like solid? That's scary. How big is the circle? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. It would have been nice to have some kind of little indicator of where to place them, maybe? Yeah, so there must be a... Looks like I can perform a ritual heal. Okay, everything's placed. And I'm moonwalking in the middle of it. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Paprika, Parillala, Paporiana, Peperuto. Were those real Latin words or? Okay. The rocks are displeased. <laughs> Excuse me? Hello? Earth to Umi? Seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. Oh, never mind. Door's open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside the house. <laughs> the end. Wow. So... I guess she banished whatever spirit was in there and got teleported outside? That's what I'm assuming. There you go, May for the 32 bit jam of 2022. But what, what happened to the rental man then? Is he just... Oh! The heck was that? I guess that was rental. Yeah, what about the rental man? Is he just lost now? In like, space and time? <laughs> oh dear. Well, I guess if she couldn't save the rental man, she can save the family at least. Stop them from going in and getting sucked into the forever stretching liminal glass maze. Oh, I thought it was gonna be way scarier. The atmosphere, I think, is pretty good. I wish there was kind of like a few more subtle jump scares. Kind of like at the very beginning where the, the, the thing standing in the hallway just kind of disappears. Yeah, I really liked that. Reminds me of the GameCube Animal Crossing low poly aesthetic. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. They do have a version on Steam now that they released recently that apparently has new content and features in it. And they've also got a DLC, a paid DLC, that's actually a design like a little booklet going in depth about the game development and everything that's what goes on behind the scenes. I think they structured it to look like a PS1 booklet that you get with your disc case. Yeah, so if you're interested, uh, go check them out on itch. I know that the artist that does the low poly stuff is on Instagram. I'll link them in the description because if you like this kind of stuff you probably like all the art they do. It's very liminal, spacey, very eerie, atmospheric kind of stuff. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.